hingga nara orang. Banyak besar saya pikir, Tuan. Luck again, Damo. But I'll get one of those big fellows yet. <laughs> well, you little rascal. What am I going to do with you? No circuses for you, funny face. You bought yourself a home and a papa. Tuan bilang orang kiti. Sudah beli rumah sama bapa. Sudah habis ini, Damo. Pakai barang. Lekas. Pakai. I'm glad I go home, Tuan. You want to get back to that girl Nanda, eh? All right. Bele, the king of rings here. Matsamana tada shop. Lekas, lekas. Thank you, Charlie. Hurry, Alma. Hurry, we have only a minute to make sure of the reaction. Dr. Bordoff. Dr. Bordoff. What is it? The table, sir. Oh, put it down. Put it down. I can't be bothered now. Very good, sir. Perfect, Alma. Perfect. The nearest to human reaction we've had so far. Now, if the mature orang gives me a human reaction, the gap in evolution is breached. My theory will replace all others. The longer you experiment, Doctor, the more I believe you're right. I know I am right. I know I'm right. Now I'm ready for the last test. To get a true human reaction from an ape. Oh, we forgot the cable. It's from Vienna. About the rank. What are we going to do? We've got to have an orang. Well, if the mountain wouldn't come to Muhammad, Muhammad must go to the mountain. To Borneo? Borneo. And on the first steamer. How do you do? I am Borodo, Dr. Borodo. And this is my assistant, Miss Thorne. We heard a lot of nice things about you from the captain. Thank you. 
Look, Alma. Bob Ward, the animal hunter? He's the man we are looking for. Oh, so you have business with Ward. Do you know where we can find him? I didn't see him today, but if you'll pardon me, I shall make inquiries. Thank you. Thank you. little fellow. Take him to the camp, huh? I won't ship the poor beggar until he's well and strong again. Yes, Dwan. Ah, oh, here you are, Bob. There is someone looking for you. Hey, Amat, Mari, Rickard. Larry Rickard. Bungi to Swan Baru. Rickard. Wonder who it can be. Come in on the steamer. Just left with the controller. Amat will bring him back. Ask the little devils. They run out every time they see you. Yaga, Ada Sikitu. Take a cherry. Spoil them. You make them think that every white man is made of money. Don't worry, Kruger. They'll never think that of you. <laughs> Well, Cleopatra, you didn't have a chance at those roughnecks, did you? No more chance in the lamb in Wall Street. Now, now. Now, well, you were all dressed up today. Now run along and buy yourself some gula malaka. Uh, Mr. Ford, I believe. Yes. I'm Dr. Ford. Well, how do you do, Doctor? How do you do? Perhaps my reputation doesn't extend to an out-of-the-way place like this. But to be brief, I'm engaged in a very important scientific research into the evolution of mentality among the primates. And to complete my work, I need a mature male orang. We'll have a chair. Thank you. You were recommended to me by Schaeffers of Vienna. They advised me to engage your services. For what? To take me into the jungle, to capture an orang. <laughs> well, that's not so easy. And may I ask what you intend to do with the orang, if and when you get one? I intend to make a few simple tests. You mean vivisection? Not exactly. In any event, that's none of your business. You will act as my guide, and the rest is my affair. Well, I'm afraid your proposition doesn't appeal to me, Doctor. Huh? Well, in the first place, I'm just back from a long trip, and I want to rest. And in the second place, I'm not in the business of capturing animals for scientists to tear apart. I only ship them to menageries, where they're well taken care of, and contribute something to education and entertainment. You better count me out. Dave. Well, how do you like Borneo, Herr Professor? Oh, fuck. Is that American? Ward. <laughs> what an impossible person. He refused to take us into the jungle. Just walked off and left. What a cheek. What? You must have, what you say, rubbed in the wrong way. Ward is a splendid fellow. Splendid fellow. <laughs> the filthy blackguard hasn't changed his clothes or shaved for weeks. But if he is the only man available, a doctor. I think you're misjudging Ward. At any rate, he's the only man I would let take you up country. Well, then perhaps as a favor to you, we might reconsider. Pardons. Since I've never met the fellow. What are you going to do, Alma? I'm going to talk to this Bob Ward. But you can't do that. Why not? He may be an obnoxious person, but he's a man. And I think I'll put on my prettiest dress. Isn't it 
wonderful to be really starting. Marvelous the way Mr. Ward has handled everything. Oh, he annoys me. He treats me as if I were a child. Bring Nanda to me. Yes, Lord. Weird music. Sort of gets you, doesn't it? It's a native custom. It's their way of wishing us bon voyage. How nice. Goodbye, I'm here. Come on. Why am I not open then? It won't be long now. We're nearly loaded. This is Nanda. She'll look after you on the trip. But I don't need a maid. But you don't understand. You see, Darmo has made sort of a down payment on Nanda. A couple of pigs and a water buffalo. This trip will pay off the mortgage, so to speak. Then they can get married. I understand. Far be it for me to let a couple of pigs stand the way of such a charming woman. <laughs> of course she'll go. Get Nanda aboard, Darmo, and hurry the loading. All right, let's go. What the devil? Well, Houdini, you didn't stay tied up very long, did you? Have someone take him in the house and tie him up, Darvo. I'm done. Let a piggy. Oh, please take him along. All right, we go. But remember, it was your idea, not mine. Take him aboard. Well, I guess we can go now. In the days, we have traveled about 90 miles up the river. We are nearing the heart of the Uran country, and I'm eager to begin the search for our quarry. Let me have my medicine kit, Doctor. What's the matter? Are you ill? <laughs> I never felt better, but Nanda has a slight tummy ache. Oh, you foster these natives as if they were children.
Edwarte. Mm. To begin the search for our quarry. Take this. Ward. The American who is guiding us is a strange creature. A big, powerful man who hunts wild animals without fear. And yet, exhibits an almost womanish solicitude for sick animals and ailing natives. Here you are, Nanda. This pillow will fix you up. All his physical strain, emotionally a weakling, an incurable, incurable, incurable humanitarian. No. An incurable sentimentalist. That's the word. And you please write what I dictate, not what you think. Oh, forgive me. I'm here to lose day. I'm hot. Are you sure it's just the heat? Ready and ready to go ashore. We're landing. Jungle telegram. They're sending word that white people are in the jungle. They equal it. We haven't seen an agent for days. We haven't seen them, but they've seen us. Listen, that's another drum relaying the message. Two white men and a beautiful white woman with golden hair. Is that news or fiction? The natives evidently regard it as news. They seem to be getting on a special edition about it. And lucky. <laughs> Did you tell me?
I can't go on. I can't. Oh, you must, Boris. Didn't you once say you always got what you went after? What's the matter? It's only a couple hundred yards to where we're making camp. You think you can make it? Come on, board. I'll try to buck up. Leave me alone. Well, he can get there under his own power. I'll carry you. Put her down. Put her down. She doesn't need your help. Thank you. Don't you ever get tired? The jungle trek is old stuff to me. I'm used to it. Men don't want to go farther with other whites. Go on. I thought so. There's trouble brewing with the natives. What can I do about it? That's your affair. You're paying for this expedition, aren't you? Yes, but you're handling the natives. Listen, get this straight. When the natives see a white man quit, they lose confidence in him. Well, they've lost confidence in you. They want to go back. But whose fault is it? You have been dragging us around this damn jungle for a month without even seeing in our Now, that's not the question now. What I want to know is, do we go on? Or do you want to quit? I want to get out of this damn jungle. The sooner, the better. Well, that's that. We'll rest up a bit and then start back to the river. Damn! Damn! Do we go back to one? One, two, two, three, Emba, Lima, and uh, what's all the excitement about? Well, that was the call of the white peacock. The natives believe that if it calls an even number of times, it means good luck, and it called just six times. And the natives don't want to go back now. No, they take their superstition seriously. But they were ready to mutiny. You were ready to quit. The peacock call saves the day. Page one. Thank you. Here, this tea will brace you up. Wait for us this time. Aye. Aye. That's the biggest I ever saw. Hurry the men, Damo. Have them cut down everything he might jump for. Look at all this stuff out there. the boys keep the torches burning all night, Damo. Yes, Juan. Well, there's nothing more I can do. Tabi, Damo. Tabi, Juan. Wonderful what a difference. Food, drink, and rest can make. I feel like a new man. Boris, now that you've recovered your poise, I think you should apologize to Mr. Ward. Why? Well, you behaved pretty badly yesterday. You haven't been any too civil to him at any time. I can't help disliking him. 
is one of those self-sufficient, infallible he-men. <laughs> it gets on my nerves. I suppose it's just coincidence that you start a row whenever he speaks to me. It's no use, Alma. I am jealous. I could have killed him. And he picked you up and carried you. Why, Bones? I don't want to see you in any man's arms, Alma. Alma, I love you. I found out at last just how much you mean to me. So you had to travel halfway around the world to discover that your assistant is a woman. Come, <laughs> Boris, this is so sudden. Don't laugh at me, Alma. I want you. Let's get married as soon as we return to my jail. Boris, look at me like that. I don't like you. Let me go. He's coming. Well, we've got your old ring, and he's a big one. The biggest I ever saw. Really? You've actually caught it? Well, not exactly. We've got him treed. It'll take eight or ten days before we can starve him into coming down. What happens then? Well, we have a mess of his favorite food ready. Let him eat his fill, and we drop the net over him. So, that's all there is to it. <laughs> How do animal hunters get your reputations? Mr. Ward, Mr. Ward. I, we owe you an apology. An apology? For what? For the rotten way we've acted. Showing the white feather and all that. I'm terribly ashamed, really. Now, now, not another word. Well, you used to the jungle best one I've ever known out here. Of course, your nerves got a little ragged, but I understood. Thanks, but I feel better for having apologized. Oh, perhaps I intrude. They say, do they not? Two is company, three is the crowd. Correct, Doctor. Good night, Miss Stone. Good night, Mr. Ward. And good night, Boris. I'm terribly tired, really. I know what you're after, Joe, but I haven't anything for you. you know, rascal. I think you're just too cute for words. Let's see the face. Oh, goodness, what's that? <laughs> Miss Thorne? Yes? I have some dictation for you. What's the matter with you two? You've hardly spoken for a week. Oh, nothing I'd care to discuss. Miss Thorne, I'm waiting for you. Coming. Oh, bah. <laughs> Back to your shorthand, slave. You will annoy the doctor by visiting with me. If you don't mind, I'd like you to take some dictation. Today, I have completed preparations for my experiment with the orang, which has been treed in the jungle near our camp for the past nine days. The man I engaged to capture the animal tells me that the beast, when enraged, is a formidable antagonist. This statement I have accepted with the reservation. Tuan! Tuan! 
Orang, come down soon. Come along, Bordoff. The Orang is about ready to come down. You'll see some action soon. Can't I go? Sorry, but he may give us quite a battle. And I couldn't let you take any risk. Quite right. You can be typing what I dictated. I'm ready. Tabi. Tabi, Nanda. Darmo, my little pin baby guy. How many bottles, Tuan? He's a big fella. You better give him about five bottles. Lima, 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 Lima. If you insist upon helping, watch your step. What? Suma urang belai, diom. No, no, Damo. Tuan Bordoff, clever doctor. Bordoff, for God's sakes, hurry! Mm. He's crushed to bits. Done for. Give him something to ease the pain. I want you to touch him. You better get away from here quick. Well, if my services are not wanted. Come 
on thy journey. Faithful soul. In the name of God, the Father, who created thee. Amen. I did my best to help him, but it was all over in a second. Poor Donna. <laughs> Poor Nanda. Good morning. Good morning. What's wrong? Well, I have some bad news for you. Our natives have deserted. It is bad. How can we move our equipment without them? Oh, bother the equipment. How can we get back without them? Well, we'll get back all right, but we mustn't lose much time. You'd better get dressed. Right. What about the rank? Is he still caged? Everything is just we left it last night. Can you cook? Well, I can try. We'll have a pretty slim diet. The Vegas took most of our grub. Well, I'm going to take a look at the orang. Are you coming? Try your hand at fixing some breakfast, Alma. We'll be back in a half an hour. Aye, aye, Captain. I wanted to get you alone before I told you the truth. We'll probably have a hell of a time getting out of this jam. But there's no use worrying Alma. Alma? Getting quite familiar, aren't you? Never mind that now. How long will it take you to complete your observation of the Oorang? Two days, three at the most. Well, make it snappy. That's all I ask. Getting back to Moj won't be any too easy. Aren't you exaggerating the danger? All we have to do is to follow our old trail to the river and then build the raft. Yes, that's all. <coughs> Just as I hoped. He's not quite out of his stupor. No, but you'd better be careful how you stir him up. What's the idea? What are you going to do to him? First, an anesthetic injection to make him control. And then, an intravenous shot of my own formula, prepared from the duckless glands. Who is it? Wait a minute. How do you determine the results of this test? After 24 hours, more drugs, and I opened the brain. I need a reaction before I die. So as to be vivisection, after all. 
in spite of your promise. Well, that's out. Don't move. Drop that knife. Drop that knife. Put up your hand. <laughs> you are an ass, my friend. Do you think I would come all this way just to look at an ape? Let's see what you can do without a gun. There are no natives to watch us here. Yella, eh? Well, the sooner I'm rid of you, the better I'll feel. All right, old boy, I won't hurt you. I'm gonna let you go. I heard a shot, then the orang bellowed. I was worried. The beast escaped. It nearly broke my arm when I tried to say what. Oh! Come back! The orang is loose. Ward is dead, I tell you. Give me your revolver, quick! I lost it. I lost it when the orang grabbed my wrist. Then follow them. Keep them in sight while I go back to camp and get a rifle. But there is nothing you can do. You let me go. Bob! 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 Alma, I was afraid you were lost. I knew you wouldn't find him. It was like looking for a needle in a haystack. Now be sensible, have some dinner and get a rest. <laughs> you wouldn't help me. You let me go alone. It was no use. I knew he was dead. <gasps> no. You better hurry him back. Just a few things you'll need. You can't carry much. I'm not leaving here until I'm sure Bob isn't alive. Please, be sensible, Alma. Ward is dead, and we have to think of ourselves. It'll be a long... You go if you want to. I'm staying here until I'm sure. All right, let's compromise. If there is no sign of war by tomorrow morning, we'll start. Is that agreed? 
Poor little Joe. Tied up all this time. Alma, I have an idea. About what? I might have a perfect reaction from him. Of course, he's only two years old, but it, it's worth trying. Oh, no. You're not going to torture Joe. Don't be a sentimental fool, Alma. We came here for one thing, to prove my theory. And this is our last chance. Give me a hand, Alma. Here, Joe. Here. You leave him alone. Alma. Alma. Boris, don't take him. Boris, don't take him. Get away, Joe. Steady, Joe. Steady. Steady, Joe. Steady. Steady, Joe. Steady. <laughs> Are you surprised? I think that will hold you. It's just a game. <laughs> just a game. Boris, you can't. You can't do that. He belongs to Bob. Don't stand there watching me. Give me a hand. Hold it. I'll not help you. You will do as I say. Get into the tent. Boris. Boris, please let him go. He'll not help your experiment. He's too young. I have no time to argue. Come. Joe! Listen, Joe. Joe, run away. Hurry! Run! Joe. Run quick! Joe. Run! Go on, hurry! I'll get him if I have to kill him. You'll never get him!
Good old Joe. You didn't forget me, did you? Joe, what's the matter? What do you hear? Joe. Come back. Why, Joe, oh, where were you, hmm? Where did you go? Oh, he didn't get you, did he, baby? Joe, come back here, you rascal. Joe. Happened. I'll be all right, dear. Board off nearly broke my back with a club. So that's why he told me you were dead. Oh, Bob, I'm afraid. Well, don't worry about board off. Quite a happy family. Always the hero, aren't you? <laughs> right to get the gun away from me. This time. Not this time. I'm going to make of you. Boss, don't shoot! Wait a minute, Bordoff. How do you expect to get out of the jungle without a guide? Oh! Boss, please! Hurrah! Boss, No use, dear. I can't go any further. I'm all in, too. I guess we'll have to rest here till morning. Oh, 
Ding God. Alma. Alma. Wake up. The telegraph drums. on Wild Mountain. Good old Derek Vandermark. He's heard our natives have deserted us. He's sending the nearest tribe to look for us. Here. You should be happy. I am. Oh, <laughs> 